I'm just going to try to explain it on a smaller version before I start to because this is a maxi dress I don't want to confuse you guys so basically you've cut your back panel the only seam allowance here is just the width is just your bust measurement plus maybe the side seam which is one inch and then your shoulder to your waist is the length your dart and then after that you're going to take that same back panel and then you're going to go ahead and cut your front panel so now to cut the front panel you're going to take it this way this is what it's going to look like place you're going to take it place it on your fabric and then extend it to where the next dart is supposed to be right because your dart is normally the distance of your nipple to nipple measurement so for me on a main body it will be like eight inches so four inches from the center line is going to be that this is my center line so it's going to be four inches away from the center on this side four inches away on this side so guys, you're using your nipple to nipple measurement as the distance and then after that from there you're going to start from the neckline and curve it down. So that's basically how you're going to get the front. So the nipple to nipple measurement is where the, the two of them will cross over like this and then you have the back panel. So that's basically it. So after that the next step now you've cut the top bodies the next step is to cut the circle part so to cut the circle part all you, by then you've joined the side the seam allowance and everything you've picked your dart guys remember the only thing like i said before the 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 amount you're going to use to cross over here is just the distance of one side of your nipple to nipple remember when you cut on a fold you divide your nipple to nipple by two so that you can be able to insert your dart so normally for me it would be like eight inches divided by two that's four so the distance of four inches is what i'm going to use to extend this side of my because this is supposed to be the center line right this line here is supposed to be the center so i extended it by four inches right so that i can get my wrap the wrap part of this here so now what i'm going to do that so how i'm going to calculate the opening because this basically is a circle a a, a, a top the top part is the wrap the the second level is a circle a bottom and then the third part is also like if a, a, a flounce but you can cut it in form of a circle also so that you can use it as the ruffle that goes around the bottom part so how you're going to cut this second part how you're going to get the second place you're going to need is your waist measurement plus whatever you extended these two two ends of this your the, the two ends of this wrap part by if that makes sense guys let me say it again round your waist measurement for me that's going to be whatever you have round the waist and then the extension of this here so let me say i'm cutting this on a big body now when i go to cut it because it, because this is going to take up to six up almost six years is what i'm going to say so it's better for you to just cut out your fabric ahead of time so i would like to cut the biggest part which is the the skirt part and then i can try to use the remaining piece of the cloth to cut the rest of my body that's the only way i can manage this fabric so that's why when when i go to calculate the waist now what i'm going to use is my waist measurement which is going to be 34 inches that's round my normal body's waist that's the waist you use when you were calculating this bottom part now my waist measurement plus my nipple to nipple measurement if that makes sense so that's going to be my waist measurement plus eight inches because normally my waist measurement would have been ended here right it would have if, if, if not for this extension here now this whole body would have been the same right it would have been the same if you see if i fold away that extension now everything is the same here which my waist measurement now would have been divided by four there's no zip allowance there's nothing so it would have been the same for the front and the back except this extension of four inches i'm calling it four inches now but it's like my nipple to nipple distance that's four inches so four inches on this one side here four inches on the other side that is going to cross over to give me that wrap so that four inches on one side four inches on the other side is what made mine eight inches so that's basically what i'm trying to say here so my waist measurement now i'm going to add that eight inches to it so that i can so that when i go to sew this now remember you see i'm just showing you guys i've already cut the circle on this pattern i want to explain it on the pattern before i go over to the cloth because it will be a lot of cloth and it will be confusing so when you cut your circle remember one is going to lap this way one is going to overlap this way so that's the whole point so you need that four inches to go in and to go in on the on the um fabric on this side and then you need the other four inches to go in on the fabric on this side if that makes sense so you so what whatever your waist measurement so guys the whole point of this whole thing i'm saying now is 
you first go ahead if you want except you have enough fabric then go ahead and cut your bodies uh, step by step start from the top cut everything come down to the bottom part and then divide add um your nipple to nipple measurement to your um to your to the to the waist measurement that you're using because it's at the waist that you attach this circle so you add your nipple to nipple measurement to whatever uh waist measurement you're working with if you want to be safe you can add like maybe extra one inch to whatever it is right so my nipple to nipple is 34 sorry my waist measurement is 34 my nipple to nipple is 8 so i can add extra one inch to it just to be safe so that would be in total that would be eight inches plus one inch plus 34 inches in total so that's going to be my waist measurement and then i'm i'm now going to take that whatever measurement you gathered and then you take it and go to your fabric fold it into two but before that also remember the the measurement from the whole edge here is what we are going to use as our frill so you're going to cut the frill which will look something like this this is going to be what you will join at the bottom here to give you that flay right so but remember you will still go ahead at this opening here and you're still going to cut this part so guys like what i'm trying to say now this is the skirt right so this is you're going to cut it i'm still going to explain this so you're going to cut the whole thing out and then this is the edge here you cut it out and then you have like what you're going to do now is the part that is going to uh this 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 the part with the fold is going to be at your center back of the bodies right this is going to be the center back at the back like where your butt is is going to be this part and then these two edge here are going to be in front coming to wrap around where the the crossover of that um of the front panel is so where that point is going to cross over you're going to still go back in and chip off some more from there you're going to give it a curve because guys see the one inside because this is a circle the one inside is already going in so much imagine where you now add the frill to this edge here it will go in so deep but you want to give it some curve at the end so you're going to cut off some of this edge here in, in form of a curve like this and then on this other side in form of a curve like this but whatever you're cutting will not affect the top of my clothes you see whatever i do here i do here is it, just at the tip of this here it will not affect the waist i can't cut it all the way to the waist just give it blending your curve in such a way that you still maintain the opening here because this matters but this body here is what you're trying to trim off so that when you add the frills the like so that you can be able to add the frill and it will cover up a little bit but not too much because imagine it's now turn into a wrapper imagine if this is going inside this way and then you now come and add frill to the edge like this you still add edge to the frill like this and then this one is coming over this way at this edge you come and add another frill it will just wrap you around and it will be way too much so that's why you need to give it a curve here cut off some more here and then you're also going to cut off here and then so that when you add that frill you might still get up to this length but at least imagine if i cut this part now out and then i i go back in now to add this frill here you see it's still giving like a smooth finish and then it's going to curve away all the way like it's going to go from here now round from my waist and then go to the back you see it's going to give you exactly what it's supposed to look like if that makes sense guys i know you might be thinking this pattern might be confusing but just bear with me i'm still going to show you guys on the fabric but i don't want it to be too bulky and start to get confusing so now that i've shown you guys what exactly an idea of what we are trying to make here now we'll move over to the fabric and start to cut next thing you're going to do is to fold this fabric into two right fold it into two this way but when you fold it into two remember this is an akara fabric that i'm working with so that i can be able to contain the length i want when cutting this circle i made sure that the fold i have here can be is also the same as the length here so this fabric is folded into two if you see it's folded into two but you cannot say this is two yards fold right it's more than two yards i use exactly the length i have here because when i go to cut my circle now i'm going to cut it even down to this point so i want and you know the circle when you cut it you place your tape and keep turning it around so if i fold it just two yards it's not going to be enough so i made sure that i have the same length of fabric here on the fold as i have on this side too so let me turn it around now you guys will see if i fold this across towards this side now you see they are the same length so now when i insert my circle now and cut all my skirts will be the same length if that makes sense so guys now 
what i'm going to do is to open this up now like we said before in here is just that um our measurement of the uh, around my waist measurement like i told you guys before is going to be 34. i'm going to add plus the my nipple to nipple distance which is going to be the extension of my uh the wrap part of it so that's going to be my nipple to nipple is eight inches so plus eight that's going to be 42 so this 42 is what i'm going to use as my waist measurement because this is a wrap top that nipple to nipple distance is just the extension of four inches crossing this side four inches crossing this side to meet each uh, breast point right so that's the whole eight inches that i explained before so 42 i'm going to do divided by 3.14 because i'm cutting this on a fold of two not on a fold of um four if it was on a fold of four i would have done um divided by 6.28 right so what we have here is 13.3 um 37 so now what i'm going to do is to get my tape and my chalk and then i'm going to start from this point here and i'm going to insert this measurement all the way like this 13.3 13.3 or 13.4 13.4 all the way to this point i'm going to mark that and show you guys now so guys i later made it 13.5 instead of um um so i just made it 13.5 i approximated it instead of using 13.37 so guys remember like i said before you might want to add extra one inch to the whole measurement just just to be safe in case you might need more room right so what i did is 34 which is my round waist measurement plus extra plus my nipple to nipple measurement and then plus extra one inch just that so divided by 3.14 and then you're going to mark it so now that we've marked that the next thing you can go ahead to do now is you're going to calculate the length so the length of this dress i want it to be 57 right my shoulder to my waist my half length is 18 so if i subtract this 18 inches from 57 so 57 minus 18 is going to be 39 so that 39 I want to check the length I have at this point now because this this is going to be the waist of my wrap dress now the first layer so I want to see what I have here now so I have 31 here so I need nine inches length of flounce right so that means just because I'm trying to use this particular fabric so I'm going to consider using 30 inches to be the body of that first flare part of this skirt and then because it's 31 here so now and but remember i still need one inch so that i can use half an inch at the top here to join this to the bodies at the waist part and then use the other half an inch at the end to um uh join the the ruffle that will go around at the bottom of my skirt so it works out perfectly for me now because i'm going to just use this measurement to just walk around it so since what i have here is going to be 31 for me i'm just going to uh make my the body of my skirt 30 so that i can use the other one inch as my seam allowance and then remember um what i'm looking for to be the bottom of my since since my full length is 57 my shoulder to waist is 18 this is what the bottom of my clothes length is supposed to be right i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying so guys this is the dress here right the full length of this dress that's from my shoulder which is here to the end is 57 right that's what i'm trying to explain to you guys is 57 now my shoulder to my waist is 18 right if i subtract this from this that was how we got this 39 so that means the length from this point here to the end that's from my waist to the end of whether my ankle or anywhere is going to be 39 so this 39 now the first layer which is from here to this part here the first layer of the flare which is this first circle that we are cutting now is going to be 30 but for me but you can split yours depending on the type of fabric you're using if you're not using akara it depends on the type of fabric you're working with you can always walk around and like figure out your own um measurement how you want to split your 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 the body and how you want to split the flare you can decide to do 29 and 10 for the 29 as the body 10 as the flay it depends on you what you want to work with it's just like how we normally calculate when we are making a tear dress but for me i'm just letting this fabric here determine my own because it works out that my fabric is 31 inches for the flay so i just figured okay since i since that is the case i'm going to just make my flay split it like 30 for the top 
and then nine inches for the bottom so that's how i split mine and it works out now that my own is 31 so you still need whatever you decided to use for this first layer you are going to add plus one inch to it because you need half an inch to join this and half an inch to join the bottom and then to this bottom layer whatever you decide to use you need to add one point one and a half to it half an inch to join this bottom to the top and then one inch to fold the rough edges so that's basically it so when I go to cut my tear now, the bottom edge, I'm going to cut 10, 10 and a half, 10 and a half inches is going to be the length. But when I go to cut this one, it's going to be 31, right? Because of the half an inch at the top and half an inch at the bottom. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to mark this 31 inches. So basically from here to here is that 31, if you guys can see it. So it's 31 inches here. So what I'm going to do is just to place my tape. And take the full measurement so which is 40 40 44.5 so i'm going to mark 44.5 all over to the edge like that. so guys now that i've done that the next thing i have to do is just to you see i've marked mine if you look at the edge here you will see all the the way i marked the circle all the way to the end guys remember like we said before um when i was telling you guys how you're going to cut the uh, flay so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut out this part here right to so cut out my waistline that's the first thing so I, i'm sure i have my waist right this is done the next step would be to go ahead and start cutting the bottom of this circle now which is what i'm going to do just start here and cut all the way guys i'm going to keep cutting but guys remember what we we talked about the other time about how you're going to um the part where you have to give it a call right guys the part where you're supposed to um curve it down because you don't want to go all the way to the edge so it depends on you where you decide to do that but i'm not going to cut it from anything i'm going to do now will not affect the waistline right it's not going to come up to this waistline my waistline is going to remain the same but i'm going to give it a curve that will blend into this part here like this curve it and blend it in this way i think i should even bring it down a little bit more because like this it's supposed to go in a little bit more this way and then curve it a little like this because remember this part here this this here you're still what i explained before your flounce is still going to come in so you don't want this to curve in too much the wrap will be too much so that's why you have to give it a curve down right you're still going to blend it in so i think i'm going to go ahead now and cut mine at this point like from here now i'm going to cut all the way up like this but i'm going to stay away from my waist you see stay away from the waist so that's basically what mine is looking like right now so you see at this point because of the flounce remember guys don't bother about this edge i'm still going to attach that another layer of flay at this edge here so it's not going to matter later so now this is what we have for the body of this sketch so i'm going to go ahead and notch the center back and also notch the center halfway through also but leaving four inches at the edge because four inches is going to be going in the other way so leave that four inches or whatever your nipple to nipple distance is so i've notched it now i'm going to open it up so you guys can see so this is basically what the skirt part for me would look like so this would be the back this part here would be the side and then i'll have these four inches going across from the notch in center and then I'll have another one coming up like this. But then going across the other side with by like the same four inches on this also this side too. You see? But guys, I know you might be thinking this is way too open now. But guys, it's not really that open because remember, you're still going to have nine inches of flake coming in on this side nine inches of flake coming in on this side so it will, it's not too much and later it's still going to drip down this way so it won't even be that open when you're done so with this done now we are going to go ahead and cut our bodies so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the bodies i'm working with now
So guys, I folded the fabric and cut out my back panel. So my back panel is basically your basic body. Fold the fabric into two. Your shoulder measurement divided by two. Cut your shoulder slope, your armhole in, and then bust measurement divided by four plus like your seam allowance, one inch or 1.5. Waist measurement divided by four plus two inches because you need your dating, right? So one inch of dating, one inch of sighting. So I just cut that out, your shoulder slope, one inch of shoulder slope and neckline. So that is the back. So now the next thing I'm going to do, guys, you see how I'm managing my fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to place this again to cut the back part, to cut the front panel. So remember our front panel is going to be extended by four inches, right? The, for me, it depends on you what your size is, right? So for me, I need that extension of four inches because of the uh, nipple to nipple distance divided by two. So let me fold this fabric into two now and make sure I have that extra four inches in front here. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead and marked a distance of four inches from this edge here and just marked it all the way, four inches, four inches, four inches, all the way to the top right like this. So the next thing I have to do is just to go ahead and cut this out. So you guys can see um, my pattern here. So I've cut this out. All my sides will be the same. So I'm also going to take out the armhole like this. Just cut this part out. Cut my shoulder slope off this way. And remember the front, the, the back neckline is going to be three inches of width, one inch of depth. So I marked three inches in here, curved it one inch down. And then you're going to cut that out also so that you can be able to remove the back panel. And then you see, I've cut it out. This is done now. So I'm also going to cut out the side because remember, you're supposed to shape the side from your waist to the bust. And then all these ones are out. And the next thing you have to do now is I remove this part. And then at the tip of this part where the shoulder notch, this part where the shoulder angle is, at this point, I used a ruler to connect it down this way to this point here, to the edge of this um, four inches down. So now all I have to do is just to go ahead and mark it and cut it out. Sorry, is what I want to say. Cut it out. Guys, at this point, I have my wrap now, but it depends on you. If you want more cleavage to show like the one in the picture, you can go down in because I feel like this might be too high across, right? So you can go back in now and just give it a slight curve. Not too much, just enough, right? Curve it in a little bit. So you see, now I can go ahead and cut this one out too. Just put your hand in here and then remove the whatever you marked out. So that, because remember this is going to be overlapping. You don't want it too straight by the neckline. So now we've done that, we have our neckline. So guys, for the darting, you're going to try to use your back to figure out your dart. So all you have to do is at this back now, I'm going to insert down my nipple to nipple again, which is um, eight inches divided by two, which is going to be four at this point, right? Try to mark that in a straight line all the way up. For my back, my dart is going to stop at my chest line, somewhere here, half an inch on both sides, right? So like this is what my dart is going to be. But I'm going to notch it. Guys, I'm going to notch this point where this four inches is so that I can be able to transfer it on all the sides of my clothes. So notch it. I've notched it now. So I know it is at this point in front. So I'm going to draw in my dart here, which is going to end for the front one inch before my bust line. So that's where my 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 that is going to stop in front so i'm going to now go ahead and insert my dart and show you guys what that looks like 